What's up, I'm Troubleshoot. Dota 2 has had an absolutely massive update, and in this quick video, I'll tell you everything you need to know about it. So, Crownfall. What is it, and what are the rewards, arcanas, and things like that that we can get? Well, essentially, between April 18th and August 8th, which is four months, there'll be four different acts that we'll need to complete if you want to get a whole bunch of different rewards. The only one we have currently is Act 1, and you can see this on the landing page of Dota 2 whenever you fire it up. If you played the game yesterday, or today even, you'll see a comic that pops up. Yesterday this whole thing wasn't here, but just the comic was. And you can read through it for some lore between Vengeful Spirit and Skyrith Mage. And, surprise surprise, they're the two main characters with a whole bunch of cool arcanas that we'll get to in just a moment. If we click Act 1 over here, you'll see it takes us to a giant map with tons of things to do, tons of things to get, etc. Let's quickly run through exactly what this is and what you can earn. Basically, you start off in the far bottom left over here. You can get to the intro tutorial either by opening this for the first time or by clicking Start over here to reopen it. This tells you how to play. Basically, you can play Dota games to earn tokens, then with those tokens you can unlock different rewards and you can avenge or I suppose complete your way through this by following the entire path. Throughout there's tons of different story and comic-like chat, but of course if you're not too interested in that, you can just spam click through it. Anyways, you start off in the bottom left here, you play a Dota game, and you progress by collecting different tokens. At each point, you'll get a different award like coins, double down tokens, different emoticons, and chat wheel things, etc. all the way throughout the game until we get all the way down here to the finish line where we get an Invoker Arcana. This is pretty cool and one of the earnable rewards, but we'll get there in just a minute. In order to progress from where we are all the way to the end, or anywhere for that matter, you'll need to collect tokens. You can see what kind of tokens we can earn at the very bottom of your screen over here. We have the Act 1 inventory, so of course this will refresh completely when we get to Act 2, 3, and of course 4. Whenever you play a game with a certain hero, you'll earn different tokens and you'll be rewarded a different amount for each of them. For example, if we play Legion Commander, we get a Walking, Melee, and Disabler token, assuming we complete and win a normal unranked or ranked match. If you play a turbo game, you'll only be rewarded with two of these tokens and only if you win, otherwise you'll get nothing if you lose. I'm not too sure if you earn while you're in the normal unranked or ranked games and you just happen to lose the game, but at least for turbo, it's all or nothing and you can only earn two of the three. It seems to be random whichever two it is, so that's going to make life a little bit more annoying. But essentially, for the first section, you'll need to complete a game and earn at least one token to progress. Then the next one, another token, then two tokens, two tokens, three tokens, etc. Each one that you go across, I'm pretty sure the max will be three, but you may require more tokens to progress further on, which could of course be annoying, especially if you're primarily a turbo player like I am. For example, this one over here, I can play one game, earn two tokens, and I'll still need to play another game to earn a third token. Whenever you click one of these sections, you'll get a suggestion on what different heroes we can play. On the far left, it'll tell you what gives you both or all of the required tokens in one single normal unranked or ranked game. If you're playing turbo, you'll only get two of the three here. If you've half completed something, like you've earned two out of three, we only need a jumping token, so it opens up the jumping section here, and it tells us which heroes earn us at least one jumping token, and whichever ones award us with two of them, for example. If we were to play with Monkey King, we'll get two jumping tokens and one melee token, assuming we play and win a normal ranked or unranked game. If we play a turbo game, we'll get two of the three here in a randomized way. But most definitely, you'll get at least one jumping token, which means I'll be able to progress and claim the next prize. At each section along the way, you'll get a different prize, pretty much after completing one little bit of travel. So the first one, we get three store coins, the next three MMR double down tokens, then an emoticon and a seasonal chat wheel item, candy sacks, etc. And you can see all of the different rewards on the far left over here. You'll essentially need to play a ton of Dota in order to get this thing anywhere near complete. Along the way, you will, however, find these little encounters. Encounters usually give you something like bonus tokens. So, for example, if we click this one here, it's a free travel between this one and this one here. But essentially, when you click it and go through all the chat, you'll get usually some kind of reward. And in this case, we get three different random tokens. These help us speed up, especially if you don't like playing walking characters, for example. That's a very broad term, but there are a couple of these with only a handful of different heroes, which you may not enjoy at all. And these little tiles that give you free passes is pretty good. 
Then further along the way, all the way over here, you'll reach this purple section. This section requires the Pathfinder pack in order to progress into and get a bunch of rewards. Of course, the paid for section has some pretty good rewards like a Crownfall Treasure 1, another Treasure 1, and a Treasure 2. And at the middle right over here, by the second section, we get access to a bunch of different things, including an Invoker Arcana alternate style, and at the very bottom, a Arcana Blade for Ricky. This is cool, but of course, you'll need the paid Battle Pass in order to get these different sections. Along the way, you'll also find different random rewards, such as loading screens and things like that, and more important places like the Candy Works Caravan over here, where you can trade some candy that you earn along the way for Arcanas, skins, and things like that. I'm not too sure what's in the store, but essentially, you'll get a couple of items that you can choose between what you want to buy, and assuming you buy the actual pass, you'll get the ability to re-roll whatever you have in that caravan shop. On this map, there's one, and in the paid section over here, there's another caravan-looking thing that's a mysterious encounter, and I'm pretty sure you'll probably be able to buy something here anyways. Let's go ahead and look at the paid rewards. Clicking view details on the far left, you can see the Pathfinder pack over here for a solid, I think, $10 or $15. For us, it's 300 South African Rand. With this, you get access to earn. You don't get given, but you get to earn two Crownfall Treasure 1s, Treasure 2, and in a different quest line over here, the Ricky Arcana Blade. We also get two different alternate skins for the final Arcana along the map, which is the Invoker Arcana here. So when we get to this final point, we get the default style, and assuming we progress all the way along the map to the far northeast side here, we can get Style 1 for Invoker, which is this. Pretty cool. If you decide to buy the Battle Pass or Pathfinder pack, you can get access to, all the way up here, the second Invoker Arcana, in the far right over here, the third Invoker Arcana. But that's not the only Arcanas available throughout this whole questline. The one thing you'll be collecting is coins. It doesn't really explain what these are, except for when we go to the shop over here, so Crownfall store at the very top, and we have a look at the two main Arcanas for this whole event, Vengeful Spirit and Skyrith Mage. These two Arcanas can be purchased for real money, so for us it's 600 Rand, it'll probably be around, I don't know, 30-ish US dollars, maybe a bit less, and you get access to one of the Arcanas here, so either the Skyrith Mage or Vengeful Spirit, or of course both of them if you choose to spend quite a bit of cash. In the far top right, you'll see this little coin meter, and hovering over it, it tells you that you can trade 10 coins in-game for a discount or a coupon on one of the Arcanas here. So if I trade 10 coins, I'll get 150 bucks off one of the Arcanas here, which is pretty good, but that still means that we need to spend some money or earn a huge amount of coins to perhaps earn another coupon code. I don't think they stack, but anyways, in Act 1, you can earn 15 coins through the free path and an additional 10 throughout the Midgate Pathfinder pack which is the paid pack, once again covered over here. Let's quickly have a look at the different Arcanas. We have the normal Vengeful Spirit Arcana here, then we have the second version here, and the third version. These two are unlocked throughout the whole event. For example, this second version here we'll get when we complete the main quest in Act 4. So the main quest in Act 1, for example, is all the way on the far bottom right, this little finish point over here. When we get to that point in Act 4, we'll get this skin unlocked for us, assuming we've bought this Arcana over here. In the future, probably, you should be able to progress throughout the whole thing, and assuming you reach all your goals, purchase it afterwards, and you should get access to it as when we unlock this section of Act 4, we should get access to this Arcana. On top of this, the third version over here requires us to finish all main quests and all side quests for all four Crownfall Acts. That's everything on this page here, and everything within this. That's a huge amount of Dota that you need to play, and I don't think there's an easier way to get through this other than just playing a lot of the game. Let's go ahead and have a look at the Skyrith Mage of him. This Arcana, once again, you can purchase, and there's only one alternate for this, which is this. This is the second style, and we get this when we complete the main quest in Act 4. So at least you unlock two different Arcana styles when you finish Act 4, but that's still quite a bit of Dota playing that you need to do, similar to the previous battle passes and map kind of exploration things. Then let's have a look at the treasures. If you choose to get the pack, you'll get a couple of these treasures, and I'm pretty sure throughout the default free version, we get two treasures, and let's quickly find them. We get a Crownfall Treasure 1, so we can open that for free. And at the very bottom over here, we get a second one, which is the Crownfall Treasure 2. So we get one of each, and assuming we pay for the Pathfinder Pass, we get another 
treasure one and a treasure two and a second treasure one. So in total, you can earn three treasure ones and two treasure twos, assuming you buy the Pathfinder Pass. Otherwise, it's just one and one. Let's have a look at the different awards for the treasure pack one. If we view treasure and head all the way across to the first one, we have a normal Bloodseeker skin, Jakira, Lena, Disruptor, Nature's Prophet, which comes with a model, which is the Treants over here, Legion Commander, Queen of Pain, Shadow Shaman, and now we get onto the rare ones. For the rare one, we have a Wraith King and a Silencer over here. Beyond this, we have very rare, a Chicken Meepo. This is actually super cool. And for this, we get a Taunt, which is also pretty good as well. For the Ultra Rare, we have a Crystal Maiden over here. And finally, a Cosmically Rare Courier. This is also super cool. If we have a look at the second treasure pack, so the Crownfall Treasure 2, in here we have Puck, Skyrith Mage, so a different skin, Tinker, Pugna, Naga Siren, Omni Knight, Keeper of the Light, and Ancient Apparition. Going into the rares, we have Hoodwink and Zeus. Very rare, we have Drow Ranger with a second style, Ursa for ultra rare, and finally, the same couriers from the first pack. Assuming you haven't bought Dota 2 treasures before and you've only opened some other kind of cases like CSGO cases, whenever you open them, you'll get one of the remaining normal skins over here, all the way up to Ancient Apparition. It's pretty much guaranteed to get all of these, assuming you open enough cases. As soon as you get one, you won't be able to open up a duplicate until you unlock all of the normal ones, in which case, when you finally get everything, you can continue opening, but assuming you get one of the normal ones, it'll go into this recycle reward section in the top left here. Assuming we choose to recycle a reward, after recycling six of them, we get another free one to open. So that's okay, but assuming you want one of these rares, very rare, ultra, or cosmically rare items, you're going to be spending quite a bit of money if you're not that lucky. This, of course, is no different to practically any of the other treasures here in Dota 2. Then finally, the Crownfall Royal Bundle. This allows us to get 30 candy sacks, 10 candy works caravan rerolls, and 20 MMR double tokens. So this is essentially a bunch of cash that you can use in the in-game item shops when you eventually reach the caravan, which the first one is located over here. And with that, you can buy hero sets, couriers, wards, arcanas, and other items. This is where rerolling comes in. You get 10 reroll tokens with this, and you can reroll the shop to hopefully buy something that you were hoping for or something better than what you're offered. Then finally, the MMR double down tokens. If you've never used these before, essentially when you earn them, such as the first one over here, when you play a ranked game, so ranked, you'll be able to wager twice the amount of MMR, meaning if you win, you'll get double the reward and much more MMR, or if you lose, you'll lose a lot more MMR. You're basically doubling your win or loss at the end of the game by predicting at the very start, so there'll be a button somewhere nearby the predict button, assuming you play ranked. That's just gambling, pretty much, or gambling on your own team skill and the enemy not being so skilled. But anyways, we've pretty much run through almost everything. There's coins, candy, treasures, which we've all run through here, emoticons, sprays, and loading screens, which are okay. And finally, style unlocks, which are essentially for the arcana at the very end here. The first act for invoker. Other than that, I can't really show you the candy works caravan as I haven't unlocked the first one quite just yet. And as for everything else in the store, we've practically run through everything. Everything. So, hopefully you found this video useful, if not entertaining. Thank you all for watching, my name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!